डेली न्यूज सेवन एक्स सेवन इज अक चैनल डेडिकेटेड टू द न्यूज फ्रॉम डेली इंडस्ट्री एवरी वीक यू रिसीव ब्रीफ ऑन टॉप सेवन डेली न्यूज ऑन दिस यूट्यूब चैनल फ्रॉम इंडिया एंड अब्रॉड दिस न्यूज कुड बी सीन इन डिटेल ऑन अवर चैनल डेली न्यूज सेवन एक्स सेवन डॉट कॉम ऑल्सो यू मे राइट इन द कमेंट बॉक्स ऑन द डेली टॉपिक्स ऑफ यूर इंटरेस्ट यू विल ट्राई टू डेवलप न्यूज फीचर ऑन द सेम यूर कॉन्स्टेंट फीडबैक एंड पेट्रोनेज टू दिस चैनल इज अवर सोर्स ऑफ इन टॉप सेवन डेरी न्यूज फ्रॉम द वीक ऑफ अप्रेल ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ विल कवर हायर मिल्क प्राइसेज टू हर डेरी कंपनीज एंड हिट देर मार्जिन Dairy farmers demand withdrawal of anti-cow slaughter legislation in Karnataka. Scorching summer makes mother dairy bullish on value-added dairy products led by ice creams. Allopack and GLS announce joint venture GLS Allopack in India. Food fuel price shocks to last at least three years. World Bank. Four startups are remaking milk to shape the future of dairy, and world's largest precision fermentation facility to be set up by Rimmel. Analysts at ICICI Securities in a report on the dairy sector released last week shared their findings on current state of Indian dairy sector. They said that we note the milk prices are steadily rising and chief reasons are first animal feed prices and rural wages have increased by 15% indicating higher cost for dairy farmers. Second, global SMB prices are up by around 35% year on year resulting in likely higher exports. And third, With normalization of economy the out of home consumption is largely back on track after a period of lower milk prices for 2 years milk prices have started the up cycle we note higher milk prices will result in higher revenues for dairy companies but will also result in lower margins in FY24 while private dairies have started raising selling prices we believe the inflation in freight transportation salary and wages and other costs will have 1 to 2% impact on abitta margins in fy24 accusing the government of creating fear psychosis among farmer using the karnataka prevention of slaughter and preservation of cattle act a convention of dairy farmers has demanded that the legislation be scrapped at the earliest in their interest the convention held in chikbalpur alleged that police are harassing farmers by using the provisions of the legislation as it had provisions to imprison violators for 7 years besides slapping huge penalties a resolution accused the government of adopting a dual stand with respect to farmers and corporates while farmers are under watch by banning cow slaughter the sale and export of beef by corporates has not been banned pointing out that farmers were banned from selling their cows to slaughter houses even if, if they were infertile the resolution expressed concern that this would result in more number of farmers particularly dairy farmers quitting agriculture and allied activities the resolution demanded that the government should buy infertile cows from farmers at market rate till it withdrew the legislation amid soaring temperatures and revival of out of home sales mother dairy expects to rake in revenues of 2000 crores in fy23 for its value added dairy business comprising of products such as ice creams and dairy based beverages with anticipation of an overall growth of 28 to 30% over pre pandemic levels the company also plans to strengthen its presence in the probiotic dairy segment dominated largely by international players in a bid to woo millennials and gen z consumers sanjay sharma business head dairy products mother dairy told business line after two consecutive washed out summer seasons due to pandemic induced restrictions we are witnessing exponential growth for our value added products due to soaring temperatures and normalcy in consumer mobility the ice cream categories alone is growing by 40 to 50% over 2019 levels as per industry estimates the size of the probiotic dairy segment is pegged at about 300 crores and it's expected to grow at a cagr of 17% we currently have a market share of about 18 to 20% in this segment said sharma Allopack and GLS have announced a joint venture in which the two companies will each have 50% ownership. The newly formed company GLS Allopack, headquartered at Gurugram in Haryana, will leverage the respective expertise, assets and networks of Allopack and GLS to capitalize on the significant consumer demand in India. The company is being established to manufacture and process high quality fresh and aseptic packaging solutions for dairy, plant-based drinks, juice, water and liquor. which are designed to ensure that liquid food is safe and accessible to consumers across the globe allopack a leading global supplier of carton packaging and filling equipment 
offer sustainable packaging solutions that provide a natural and convenient alternative to plastic bottles. With its manufacturing hub close to Delhi at Rewari in Haryana, GLS Allopack will immediately start to offer roll fat aseptic cartons under the brand Alpac in various sizes along with end-to-end -end service support to customers. Going forward, the company will introduce pure pack, fresh cartons, pure pack aseptic cartons and complementary solutions. Global food and fuel prices shocks linked to the Russia-Ukraine war are set to last until at least the end of 2024 and raise the risk of stagflation, the World Bank said in its latest Commodities Market Outlook report. Stagflation is characterized by slow economic growth and relatively high unemployment or economic stagnation. World Bank said the world faces the biggest commodity price shock since the 1970s as per Reuters. It is being aggravated by restriction in food, fuel and fertilizer trade that are exacerbating already elevated inflationary pressures around the world. Russia is the world's largest natural gas and fertilizer exporters and second largest crude oil exporter. Together with Ukraine, it accounts for nearly a third of global wheat exports, 19% of corn exports and 80% of exports of sunflower oil exports. As a result of war, the World Bank expects energy prices to rise more than 50% in 2022 before easing in 23 and 24, while non-energy prices including agriculture and metals are seen climbing by almost 20% in 22 before moderating. The bank said commodity prices will only retreat slightly and stay well above the most recent 5-year average for the medium term. Milkubator program, a 6-month incubation program by Pasquale InnoVentures has profiled four alternative dairy startups from around the world that are looking to take cows out of the equation while creating milk for a sustainable future. First one is De Novo Dairy, a South African startup leveraging precision fermentation. The company was founded by the same people that launched Gourmet Grub, an insect protein based ice cream brand. Second, Zero Cow Factory. It is India's first bioengineering and microbial fermentation dairy company. Zero Cow Factory aims to differentiate itself from the myriad of domestic plant milk companies. It is currently working on developing proteins that act and taste identical to dairy ones. Third one is Real Deal Milk. Based in Spain, Real Deal Milk uses precision fermentation to create casein and whey proteins that function the same as conventional dairy ones. It hails itself as creating authentic dairy with no animals. Fourth, Pure Memory Factors. Based in the US, Pure Memory Factors is a 108 labs offshoot that seeks to reduce the cost of producing cultivated milk by developing affordable growth factors. Added to culture media, the factors allow for a faster production process, thereby costing less overall. <music> Following the close of $120 million in Series B funding, Remilk, the food tech innovator reimagining dairy, announced it will build the world's largest full-scale precision fermentation facility on more than 750,000 square feet of newly acquired land within the Symbiosis project, a pioneering sustainable industrial ecosystem in Kalenborg, Denmark. The next major milestone demonstrates Remilk's continued leadership in the rapidly developing category by offering consumers animal-free dairy products identical to their traditional counterparts but free of lactose, cholesterol and hormones, thus severing the dairy supply chain's reliance on animals. We intend to massively scale up our production capabilities to make nutritious, delicious and affordable dairy that will send cows into early retirement," said Avi Wolf, CEO and founder of Rimilk. At the new facility, Rimilk will produce non-animal dairy protein for use in products like cheese, yogurt and ice cream in volumes equivalent to that produced by 50,000 cows each year. According to a report by Boston Consulting Group and Blue Horizon Corporation, Alternative proteins could account for 11% or $290 billion of the global protein market by 2035. Thanks for watching Daily News 7x7 channel with news update from last 7 days. To continue receiving update from this channel, I Kudeep Sharma request you to subscribe this channel and share and like the video. And also, don't forget to press the bell icon.
Thank you.